Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is this video is about making a new color palette. Somebody contacted me on one of my videos and asked, how do you get this eyedropper in your color palette to work? Because it's kind of grayed out. Well, that's really just for new color palettes. So if you go to window or if you go to Windows and Dockers and go down to palettes, right here on this plus sign, you can add a new palette. So we're going to new empty color palette. We're going to name it. I'm going to name it laser because I'm a laser engraver. And you've got a new color palette. So we can close that docker. And now laser engravers only use like these top colors. You can just drag these colors in that order. So you'll be used to them and where they'll normally be. So we'll just drag all these colors and then we can add another color or colors or whatever we want to this palette. These are normally the colors you would use even in uh, color mapping. So now the eyedropper tool now is uh, not grayed out. So let's go to Walnut Wood and let's just take that and right click, copy the image. Let's say we want to do that. Let's go back to Corel. Let's uh, right click and paste. So now we got some walnut wood. We can take our eyedropper tool and add it to the color palette. So if you ever have somebody wanting uh, something that's the color of walnut, and it really all depends on when you where you click on this, this is also true if you want to make your own color and use it for something else always. Let's turn it blue and then holding down the control button, let's add some yellow, make it a little bit different, maybe add some green and we've got a totally different color. Grab the eyedropper tool, click on it and it added that color to your palette. And then you, of course you'd want to save that. So we can go to Windows, Palettes, save as, laser, We've already got it started so it's gonna ask us yes. And then if you ever just wanted to use that color palette, you can just take this one, go to palette and close that palette. And now you only have colors that you wanna use if you're a laser engraver. So if you want black, you make it black. If you want it red, you make it red. Anyway, I hope that answered his question and thank you for watching.